Hi, how are you today? Hope everything is well with you. So today I'm here to try to explain you how to import uh, ProRes in your DaVinci project. The other day when I published the how to export um, ProRes in DaVinci Resolve, someone asked me how he could import it and that's why I'm here because someone asked I looked for and now I'm here trying to tell you how to do it. First of all, you can't import directly ProRes in DaVinci Resolve, even in the studio version, you cannot do it. You have to convert it and someone, a great uh, person made a converter uh, software for converting it to Cinema DN DNG, uh, that is a codec. Uh, for uh, RAW and it allows to convert those th that software allows to convert uh, ProRes into CineDNG and CineDNG can be imported in um, DaVinci Resolve so let's see in the computer what you have to do to accomplish that first of all you will go to raw converter web page it's rawconverter.com i will leave down below the the link for this page and if you are working on windows you have to download it from microsoft store and if you are using mac you have to download it from the apps apple app store so i download it from i'm using windows so i download it from the windows Microsoft Store or Microsoft Store and if I, uh, I tried to go directly with this link and I couldn't do it so I open my um, Microsoft Store and I look for ProRes and when I when the result comes this is the option that you have here it's raw converter as you can see I already have it installed but you do download and when it's over you can open it then you come here and select the input files I already have one here I don't use uh, ProRes uh, I never uh, I don't have anything that uh, records ProRes so I went and I look for a sample to try this so I download this and if you even try to play it you will if you try to play it on your comp on a Windows machine it will give you only the audio it doesn't give you the image so you open it in the converter you select the destination I already let me delete this I select it here and then over here you have the quality if you come to the page here you can see that if you have an original file of 496 gigabyte if you convert it to 3 to 1 it will give you a 6 gigabyte if you 5 to 1 and 7 to 1 but in the app you will have uncompressed and lossless I try it with uncompressed now I'm gonna try it with lossless and you can do convert yes and you will start to convert this will take us some time so let's wait until it's done Okay, it's done and it took around two minutes to ex to convert a file if you have big files it will take a lot of time now you it's converted if we go to the place where I have let me close this minimize this open it I think it's here here so here it creates 
this file this folder and inside you have all this as you can see you have all these files in here but let's open DaVinci new project progress test create convert this to 4k save now let's import the media have it here and scroll it down and progress here this is the original as you can see it's only the music and if I come here now I can import it don't change now you have the file as you can see it's a small file but if you come here to color and you come here to the raw camera raw you can see now you can go here to clip and now you have available all the options for the raw attributes so you can choose change the color temperature the theme, the exposure, the sharpness, the highlights, and the shadows, color boost, saturation, mid-tone details, lift, gain, and contrast. So. As you can see, it's uh, easy, but if you have long files, it will take a, a lot to convert and it will use a lot of space of your hard drive, especially if you use uncompressed or lossless. So let's see. Original file is 1.5 gigabytes and the result is 2.6 gigabytes so for how long this clip is 11 seconds from 1.5 it, it passed to 2.6 gigabytes and if it was uncompressed it was even bigger so you can import you can progress it's not progress it's uh, progress converted but you can use ProRes in DaVinci if you use this app that converts from ProRes to Cinema DNG and then you can import that format in DaVinci. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that notification bell to be notified when I will launch another video. And I hope to see you there. So bye.